we're off to the shop to get lunch supplies. We decided to walk and it's feckin' roasting. <laughs> How's your trip been so far, baby? So relaxing, chilled out, being happy at the simple things in life, just listening to the birds and chilling out. It's been great. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> So today's Thursday, not Wednesday, like I thought it was Tuesday, yesterday. It's Thursday. Let me watch things, I'm going for a walk, workout, because I've walked a couple of feet. <laughs> so it's five past one, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go that direction to the shop, where we spend a lot of time. And this is some of the architecture en route. And that box up there looks like a beehive, I'm not sure. Very rural, very rough and ready, but lovely and charming in its own little way. Not a lot to do today, just chilling in the sunshine. Got a bit of work to do before signing off. And I think today's, let me guess, barbecue. Barbecue. Barbecue and a couple of drinks. We're really going to bed super early, aren't we? Mm, I know. I think we were in bed last night for about nine o'clock and then we're getting old, we're boring now. <laughs> See when we get home. I mean, we don't go to bed till about after midnight. Here, the sun goes down about six, seven, and then we're in bed for eight, nine, and dead. And then I get restless sleeps. I'm getting bit to death. I have lumps all over me. Uh, Mozzies. Mozzies love me. me once. They love me. I'm getting chewed to bits. Anyway, yeah, so lovely trip so far. We'll uh, make plans for tomorrow. Because I'm off tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll probably go a little bit further afield. And we'll bring you with us. But for now, I'm nearly at the shop. I haven't moved that much. And the heat is making me short breathed. Whew. See you in a bit. Where you going, Mrs. M? She's done me for the last time. <laughs> Explain what you did. Oh, just another fly in my fucking eye. So we had planned to do lots of travelling around. Uh, that hasn't happened. Really, mainly because of that thing up there. And just the nice garden here. So. <sighs> Shockingly, check the flight details today. Not today, actually. I was looking at the date. It's the 23rd. And I knew that we were flying out on the 24th. But I completely forgot. I got the third bit wrong, thinking Wednesday. And to 24th is tomorrow. So, how did you feel when you found out you're flying home tomorrow instead of Wednesday? I was raging. <laughs> Wait, I'm not prepared, not mentally prepared. Mentally prepared for Wednesday. But when we find out, we're like, no! So, yeah, it was a lucky catch, actually, because uh, I was just looking at my watch and it's like, 23rd? I thought that was Tuesday. And obviously, with you being out here and, and just doing nothing, I mean, I've been working in the mornings, but it's not really date specific. It was literally just looking at my watch going, hang on, are we flying out tomorrow and checking the flights? And sure enough, we're leaving tomorrow. But I've still got a filming shoot to do first thing in the morning with a colleague for work. And then I'll just pack everything up race back here grab mrs m and then we'll head to the airport unfortunately and then make our way home so it'll be a couple of days before this edit comes out because obviously reasons we're traveling here's our host who is going to come and appear on camera maybe maybe not <laughs> <laughs> i am ready for my close-up <laughs> oh. this is my good friend izzy and she's the owner here who we have known each other for how long eight years now i i, I think yeah. 2016 right 2016, 2016 where we used to work together yes and one travel it's one of the first places we work together but there will be more tell me why it is that you live here in this beautiful spot so living in a village in bulgaria has a lot of benefits and the biggest benefit for me is being able to have pets and animals i love cats dogs everything uh that is a breathing living thing that doesn't require too much effort <laughs> so uh yeah that's the first thing and secondly i can grow my own food which is a huge part of 
who we are now to grow food. <clears throat> so, yeah, I love that about living here the most. So every time we come here, we're always like, we start looking at Facebook <clears throat> groups and things like that about buying property. <clears throat> Give me two tips for tourists who are thinking of buying property here in Bulgaria. So the two tips I would give you is firstly, look at the village, make sure it has canalization because for example, our village doesn't. So we have big septic holes, which need to be cleaned for a very, very large amount of money sometimes. Um, so we have to clean those um, where our toilets are. Um, also another thing that I would suggest that you look for is to have running water connected. Again, one thing that our village doesn't have, we are not connected to a big body of water. So there is no uh, water around here. We live on a water regime, which is really shit. And we are now going to put a special configuration, which will take water from our well clean it and take it to the house. However, firstly, that is very expensive. Secondly, we need to make sure to do it in the right moment because at one point this will be taxable. So we need to make sure that uh, the authorities don't have an idea about it. <laughs> okay, so hopefully they're not gonna watch this video. And what's the worst thing you think about living in Bulgaria? The people and the trash that they make. It is a ridiculous lack of community in general, but this is why we're here. Um, we want to build something. We want to live a better life. We want to be closer to our roots. And the one thing that is really putting me off of living here is the lack of community, the lack of self-consciousness for people who live around here, the lack of respect for for our mother earth. Mm, it's lovely. Well, you can't have it all. You know, it's very nice. The climate is amazing. Um, the earth is very fruitful. Whatever you put into it, it grows. It, it just grows. Yeah, there is this mindset around here that we are all waiting for someone to come do the job for us. And, you know, sometimes you have to put in the work. Yeah. Well, all I can say is my wife and I thank you for our friendship and hosting us this past 13 days. Thank you very much. The same. Good morning. This is our last day in Bulgaria. I didn't know that, obviously. You already know that. I uh, thought we had another day. Thankfully, I did look at my diary and flight details to confirm. But yeah, that would have been a nightmare. But I already arranged to do some filming with a colleague from work, so Today's the day, whereas I should be panic tanning. Oh! So, oh gosh, everything's turning on in the car. Don't need all the aircon this morning because the car's pretty cool because it's like now 8.59 and I'm traveling to my friend's house. So the last day in a left-hand drive car on the right side of the road. I'll spit that again. Uh, and I'm off. What a week and a half this has been. Just the ability to sit and do bugger all. I mean, if you look at the beginning of the video, the first video, this is the third. If you look at the first video, and there's a link here, up here, uh, I was completely bald. Look at that. I didn't bring a razor. I didn't think I'd be this extreme. But Jesus, stuff grows in the heat. Anyway. Uh, I'll catch you in a bit. I'm going to do this and then race back, grab Mrs. M, and then uh, start our journey back, which is about three and a half hours back to Sofia Airport. And I need to get diesel today as well. So, anyway, see you in a bit. Sorry, I just had to show you this. Look at that. That's one of the very first Astras still on the road. Let's see if I can get a little bit. No, he's away. How is he away? That vehicle's like 30 years old. That's one of the things you notice when you're in Bulgaria. Some of these cars, I mean, I, I grew up with some of these, working on them, and they're still going strong. Obviously survived the scrap yard. <laughs> what do you call it, the scrap challenge or whatever it was. The scrappage scheme, that was the one. Look at that old boat, still going. <laughs> 